Well, maybe tomorrow I might not be able to go out and, and plant anything. Um, I got ice on the camera up here and uh, my boat and the garden on the camera number four is completely covered. Cars are covered. Well, maybe I'll just garden in the house. Okay, this is my bucket I set up today with my spring onions in it. Yep. And uh, you see what you see on top there is vermiculite. I um, put the seeds in on the very top of the soil. Didn't dig them in or anything like that and then I just sprinkled a light dusting of vermiculite on it, watered them in real good. Those are about 200 uh, spring onions. I think it's a three gallon pot, something like that. You see Walla Walla and then you got a sweet uh, Spanish one, both of them was put in on the 15th. And it's a lot of moisture inside there. It was done the same fashion of the one I just showed you. And uh, you can see I'm um, got the uh, same trays you've looked at before. We got some more items coming up right there. That's the, uh, what is that? Banana peppers coming up and uh, we're looking pretty good and the night is going to get down to 30 we got the watermelon uh, plants there I think they call it uh, let me see what they got sugar babies and here we got some mixed melons oh there's some just come up right there that's uh jalapeno peppers then we got another container here coming up. Can hardly see those. Those are asparagus. And this one here, cantaloupe. And a few more gonna be coming up. We're just waiting and waiting patiently. This is the morning gardener, and I'm just telling you, folks, these are a lot of tests that I'm running here, and some of them are actually gonna come into fruition. They're gonna actually be something that I plant out into the garden. Now these melons. These were planted like, oh God, what is it, uh, February? So we, we're just gonna see how they grow. That's what we're gonna do. And everything gonna be reported back to you. And here, like I said, the uh, long uh, uh, tree tree kale and the, and the, uh, the uh, tomatoes look good. See, I'll take time. These are, these are called Belgium pink, giant Belgium pinks actually. And these are gonna be used in the garden so these sweets here and like that so we're gonna water these in and and call it a night this is the morning gardener and you can see my onion container full of uh, moisture it's sitting on a heat mat so is this here and we're all looking good thank you this is what's doing it folks EM1 it's, it, when I put it on a cell uh, where, the, where the seeds are, it starts to germinate really, really fast. Within a few days, sometimes just two days, it, it absolutely um, starts to, to uh, do its thing. And even plants that are in the house, I spray them with it. They get dark green and very stiff and firm. EM1, I believe this is the answer to a lot of problems I was having. Last year, all my plants in the pots were yellow and they weren't doing very well. This is EM1.